Yo, what is up, Channel Familia? First and foremost, happy holidays to everyone. Um, I'm on my holiday right now, too. I'm in Vietnam, actually, in Ho Chi Minh City. And yo, I found this dude at a local shop called My Kingdom. And dude, we're going to do an unboxing and a uh, reaction. Um, this is all ghetto style right now because I don't have any, you know, I don't have a setup over here to record. So believe it or not, my phone is balancing on top of a cup that's being held up by an Aquafina bottle. Uh, one of these things over here, right? Um, anyway. Super boots, I know, I know, but we're gonna get through it. And I paid a cool 1.2 million VND for it, which is 51 USD. And if you're wondering, um, why did you pay double the price when those things are made over there, right? And it's due to something called the triangle trade. And by the way, we'll go over all of this stuff. It's due to something called the triangle trade, meaning it's manufactured in Vietnam, but it has to be exported out to a distributor in other parts of Asia, like Japan, China, uh, Singapore, Malaysia, PI, Indo. Oh, shout outs to Indo, by the way, one of the big Biggest contributors to the views uh, on this channel yeah us uk and indo mad love to everybody but yeah since i'm in this part of the world what is up indo terimakasi for all the love um but yeah so so again made in vietnam shipped to an asian distributor shipped back to a vietnam retailer so you got to think there's all this shipping cost that happens in between and these people need to make a profit in my kingdom so that's why you see the markup and that's why i pay through the nose but here we are with this review, right? And so, yeah, let's talk about him. Um, man, he's so cool. When I look at this, immediately I get some type of like um, Mad Max vibes going on. And when I look at the toy itself, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but part of it reminds me of some of it looks like Impactor and some of it looks like Hot Rod as well. And so I think he's cool. I think he's cool. Maybe they're cousins. They go to cookouts and barbecues. Uh, <laughs> they got the family gathering and stuff like that. And this is really cool. Over here we have, um, you know, I, I guess this is a sneak peek at, at um, what's going on with this uh, line. Let me see if I can sharpen this a little bit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, we have Tarn over here. Um, by the way, I'm not really familiar with the lore of all of this. Is there, um, is there an Autobot? Is there a dude with the Autobot face? I know MMC, I think, did a did a, a toy or, or something like that, like an orange dude that was like an orange Tarn with the Autobot face. But, yeah, does anyone know? Is, is there, I don't know. If his name is Tarnish, is like Polish, Paul, I, I, Paul, I don't know, uh, what am I talking about, um, over here we have Fish Face Prime, and I know he's going to be released pretty soon, so pretty excited about that, I think at Wonderfest or something hell years back, um, they had showed a prototype, but he just disappeared off the face of the earth, um, somewhere in Dimension X, what's up to all my Ninja Turtle lovers, um, and then we got Laser Prime, who's been replete, uh, um, released already, that is the Nemesis, and that's the Quintesson, um, ship so in that cybertron back there i believe and then we got hot shot hot spot i always mess up his name but i think i got it right this time he's chill and then we have some i don't know if these are other if these are new junkions if they're going to release more um Rekar repaints this over here is interesting we see a motorcycle with a little side buggy next to it and i'm like is that somebody new is that is, it gonna, is that going to be a new weaponizer or are they implying, because this almost looks like the front of this vehicle. Are they trying to imply that I should be using this dude to make a little side buggy? Who knows? Maybe I'll try. And I'm not really sure where these come from. But yeah, I hope it's a new junkie on. And then back here, we have a bunch of the Insecticons. Can't wait to uh, complete the set. And I do hope they revisit all the, um, the deluxe Insecticons. Because we already got, um, oh my god, I'm forgetting his name. Ransack? You know, the one that came in the Target 4-pack? Um... Yeah, the, the, the black and yellow uh, kickback remold. Um, I, I hope we get more of them. I really, really hope we get more of them. Yeah. And so, here's the back. We have the bot mode. We have the alt mode. Breaking down into, broken down into all the parts. It's, it's kind of funny. When you look, it almost looks like anatomy or how they, like, um, dice up the sushi. Like, all the different parts and stuff like that. That's kind of cool. Also kind of creepy for some reason. And then we have it adorned on um, Hotshot over here. And let me get this in focus. This is really interesting because if you take a look, oh, sorry. If you take a look at this, these I think are the, those are the legs. And so the, the legs are being used to create these like wing type things. That's, that's interesting because typically, well not typically, but at least a lot of the weaponizers, modulators and fossilizers, you know, you use the legs to kind of beef up the legs, but you have the arms down here. And, and actually, they're using the arms as these, like, I don't know, like, what what are those things, dude, as boots? Yo, those look whack, dude. Real talk, 
those look whack, dude. I can I can go with the other parts of it. Like the arms look cool, the shoulders look cool. Yo, those feet are whack, dude. Yo, Hasbro, you should have sent me this in advance, dude. I would have cooked up something real good. Mark, Mark Lonis, B Mac. Yo, hook me up with some early copies so I can hook y'all up uh, with some fan modes and you can use them for free for your box art. I mean, I'm not trying to diss whoever does this over there, but yo, those arms gotta go, dude. That's whack, dude. That's super trash. Um, anyway, not trying to be mean. Just trying to be a little bit critical, you know what I'm saying? Um, and over here, he is living his best Impactor life, in my opinion. The chest reminds me of the new Impactor, you know, the one that we got with uh, Spindle? Um, a little bit, but um, yeah, maybe he has a story. So we're going to pop him open. Let me kind of fix the focus and get the, the lighting up. And also, I don't know if you hear the AC in the background, but Vietnam is super hot. It is hot as the Charles Dickens over here, and so I got to go in full blast. I'm sorry if you're hearing it. Yeah, and um, it's 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 hot. It's hot, and it doesn't help that I'm overweight. And dude, I think I'm the fattest person in Ho Chi. I think I'm the fattest person in Ho Chi Minh City. And I'm not even that fat, you know. But dude, the people. Oh, there's some type of drilling going on. Y'all hear that? Par for the course. But hey, but seriously, the people over here are super thin and like they're in shape and they're extremely good looking too. So yeah, but yeah, so I'm looking around. I'm like, geez, yo, hold up for a second, dude. It's so loud. Yo, sorry about that. I had to cut away from the video because there was this mad drilling going on, dude. I don't know what that is, but it was kind of ruining the video. So, um, anyway, so we are back and we're going to pop this guy open. And so, um, you know, I don't have any neat tools with me to kind of open this up gracefully. So I'm just going to approach this as if I was an eight-year-old because these are eight plus. And how would I open this, right? Right here. Here's the doorway. Here's the doorway. So we're just going to just gonna rip this guy open over here. This $51 box, so to speak. Well, the, the box isn't really $51. But I'm like, yeah, if I was a kid, Christmas Day, how would I pop them open? Just like this. And then we'll remove the inserts. And get, get, and get rid of the box. I've always wanted to do that. Who, who does that? There, there's like a toy reviewer who will like chuck the boxes to the side. I don't know why I always get a kick out of it. Yo, check this out. Oh, hold on for a second. Let me move this guy to the side. This is interesting. Have we ever had instructions that were donned in green? Usually they're like purple and, and shattered glass has some like pinkish on them or something. But I think the green actually helps it stand out a lot. And you know, they're trying to minimize how much ink they use on this because... Um, one profit planet all that stuff, but I think the green works really really well in, in, in um, Helping to accentuate and, and uh, highlight the areas that they want to focus on for transformation and uh, very neat very neat um, I am NOT going to transform the figure in this video. Um, I will do a separate one. This will just be an unboxing and uh, and a reaction, okay? So here we have the toy magnificent looks great in hand uh, I mean, hey, my name is Botbender Orange, and so I dig any Transformer that has orange on him. And so he has different shades here, here. There's some paint, and this obviously is the darkest. Uh, there's some gray. There's some muted browns, tans. And overall, yeah, man, he looks like a junkie on, you know? He looks good. He looks good. Paint apps are good. Like, all the stuff is good. We have the accessory burrito over here. Um, we'll take a look at that later. Let me just get rid of that accessory burrito dude i can't believe when they um they uh what is it they package the exosuit with um shattered glass slicer or whatever yo that's a full figure fast track right it's a fast track remold they had him in a huge burrito oh the level of disrespect from my guy oh it's killing me it's killing me um okay so yeah the box is nice kind of reminds me of shattered glass to some extent um yeah got a little peephole over here so we're gonna pop them open this is actually quite satisfying. Just kind of going Hulk smash and hand fisting everything. Not really caring about finesse. You know what? I might just open my toys like this going forward, dude. This is kind of fun. Um, and of course, I'm not trying to stress the toy. I'm just just trying to um, get to the parts where the, um, the rope is. And I think I'm doing all right. Still trying to remember who that reviewer is who chucks the who chucks the boxes to the side. Man, I wish I had more time to watch reviewers. Honestly, like I used to watch like all the stuff. Like I used to watch everyone. I used to watch everyone. But after I started making content, uh, I just I don't know. 
I don't know. It's weird because, so I work in video games, right? And so, um, yeah, I work in video games. And after I started gaming, I or started working in gaming, I, st I just stopped playing as much games. It's weird, isn't it? It's almost like it became part of my work, and so it stopped becoming part of my hobby. I would hate for that to happen if I were to somehow miraculously end up employed by Hasbro. Like, that I would stop bot bending where I would hate it. I don't think that would ever happen, and I don't think I would ever get employed by Hasbro anyway, so I don't need to think about that. So let me see. Let me see. This would have been much faster with scissors, I think, but I don't know. It's kind of enjoyable, actually, just kind of tearing this all apart. And, um, yeah, those are right there. We'll kind of, like, David Blaine him right now and have him escape from his shackles. Rusty Shackleford. Y'all know who that is from King of the Hill. Um, mm -hmm. Rusty Shackleford. Um, here we go. Here we go. He's nice, man. He is nice. He feels good. He feels good. The 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 paint ants the paint the paint ants the paint apps look spot on. Um, Autobot symbols good. Hmm. It looks good. It feels good. And like joints feel good. Like the tension, the tolerances all feel good. I'm like uh, what is this? The heck? Oh, okay. Yeah, everything feels good. Um. Hmm. I'm not gonna do a transformation like I said, but uh, since we're here, maybe we'll do a quick study on him, really quick. Let's just start taking these parts. Taking these parts off. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. This is what actually, you know what? I, I feel like I'm going to go down a rabbit hole, so I'm going to save a lot of this for uh, the transformation. But, uh, but I'll just talk about a couple of things. The first thing I noticed is this. Most of the modulators, um, weaponizers, fossilizers, those guys, their thighs, when they come down, the knee is a peg. You feel me? It's a peg that you're, 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 you're connecting um, a female port into. But this is the opposite. The leg has the peg on it, and the thigh actually has a port. And so you wouldn't just be able to plug it in. And, and, and another thing is, a lot of those guys, their waist uh, detaches, you know, or, or I, guess, I guess on six gun it doesn't. Maybe not on cog either, but, but like I know this waist doesn't come off. And so, hmm, interesting. Interesting. You know, I'm really going to have to get my hands dirty with him and just really kind of get, oh, you know what? I forgot to take a look at the burrito. All right, hold up. Burrito time. Um, dude, it's getting messy, dude. I'm in an Airbnb right now, dude. And like, yo, everything is really, really affordable here. And that's when I get upset about living in an ultra highly inflated um, uh, economy in California. Yo, I went to the UK and I was in London for work. And dude, it costs less in great uh, GBP, Great British pounds, it costs less than uh, for me to eat and survive than, than it costs in California. How ridiculous is that, right? Ridonculous. What's going on over there, dear? What's going on, Cali? That thing's just too expensive. Um, reminds me of that guy who was talking about the rent is too damn high. Remember that guy back in the day? Um, so here, we have the little hook. Uh, this is kind of cool. It's a little flimsy. I'm, I'm worried that if I were to like not pay attention, I might break that. Um, yeah, you can see it. it there, there's give, there's bend on it. So I, I got to be careful about where I'm going to put that. But uh, we have a hex port on the little tow mechanism or towing mechanism. And we got that there. This. Hold up. Is this supposed to be like this? Hold up for a second. Let me take a look at the box. I can't. Hold up. Let me just pause. Okay, I, I confirmed it's supposed to be like this. Oh, man. I was like, dude, of all the figures to get, I'm going to be the one who's going to get the one with uh, like a um, mold defect. But no, it, it's not. It's, it's supposed to be like that. So cool. We have that. These are kind of cool. These look like uh, Mercury or like Hermes wings that you attach to the side of like, I don't know, their feet or something. This is kind of cool. I like this a lot. This is real cool. Neat. 
Why does, every, why does everything look like it's blurry? Um, and finally, the gun things that are the, that are also, um, I think you pop them on the shin. Yeah, they're like shin coverings, but they're also guns. Damn, look at that. Look, look, look how nice that sits flush. I wouldn't be able. To, I wouldn't even be able to tell that this pops off, but that's cool. Um, yeah, yeah there's so many interesting things with this guy. I mean, look at all the the port placement, and the peg, and there's another port placement down here. And, but but this is kind of a trip, dude. He has a really 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 big. Um, uh, what is it, like heel spur, or like, I'm wondering, is he like back heavy? Is he super back heavy? Is, 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 is that what it is? He doesn't feel like he's back heavy, but he has huge stabilizers. I'm, I'm wondering, was that really necessary? Maybe, may, may, maybe. I mean, these guys are smart. You know, these are Takara engineers, dude. These guys are smart. So, uh, yeah, it probably had to be done. Probably had to be done. Um, let me get this guy back in focus, daniel -san. And, um, no, he's chill, man. He's, 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 he's real, real chill. Um, woo, look at this. The wheels rotate independent of the little hub or, or, or what is this called? Car people. What is, what is this called? Uh, the hubcap? That means you can plug stuff in and not worry that spinning the wheel is going to like move it all about. That's smart. Respect, respect. So we have a port up here, port in the hand another one up here um does this oh, whatever dude I'll, 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 I'll study more of this in the transformation but first impressions this guy's cool but really I, I do see some challenges some fun challenges in using this guy and um hmm and seeing how he's gonna adorn the other figures but we'll see We'll see. How fun. How fun. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Channel Fam. Hey, this has been an unboxing and a reaction. The drill noise is back, so I'm going to bounce right now. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye.